Well, guys, you're not going to believe it. I did a whole level while not realizing my face cam was blocking a pretty crucial part of it. So I'm just going to kind of walk you through my thought process and everything that happened. It's a big Z, right? We have six placeable mirrors we can have. And I was like, okay, we're probably going to need to reuse some of the mirrors, not because of mirror scarcity, but space scarcity. It seems like a pretty tight corridor here. But then I realized, well, to get this green laser to its green receiver, we actually need to use four lasers to bend it around the corners. And if I was to do that for both lasers, I would need eight, which means we actually do have a laser scarcity. So I'm like, okay, some of these mirrors, or sorry, a mirror scarcity. So some of these mirrors need to be reused somehow. So I'm like, okay, we could try to use the, reuse the edge mirrors. And I tinkered around with this and found it didn't work. So I'm like, all right, let's just try to reuse the middle mirrors then. Let's try to have those be as workable for both as possible. So we have this here and then we have something like this here. So it bounces off, but we have to make sure they're kind of separate, like yeah, even something like that. There we go. Such that the there is room for a pink mirror here. And there we go. Solving it like that. I, I swear the actual solving process was like that, just slightly longer. Anyways, we have only two placeable mirrors, but a lot of twist or bendable regular mirrors. Uh, now that my face cam's here, we can actually see the goals. And I'm, I'm not blocking anything now. This thing just goes up and down. Note that these static bars are also mirrors so i assume what i'll just want to do is have this be probably here and let the blue one bounce above and let the red one bounce below and just have them both bounce off of here seems like it makes sense we'll see if i can so i'll probably only need one placeable mirror for each color like already this is pretty close so i need to send this through here like that and then the red one needs to go in the top section and bounce down how do i want to do that I'm not sure. I feel like I need a more of a neutral kind of vertical mirror like this and then just have this hit at a lighter angle. I could still probably achieve the same. Yeah. And then here we just likely need this to bounce. Oh, that's so close. Perfect. Absolutely wonderful. Easy challenge though. We're going on to level 15. We got six placeable mirrors, and I'm finally not really blocking anything. Just the corner, you know, kind of goes around under my face cam. So what I'm almost thinking is that for each of these, that we, we have it take, like, a very long path. So hear me out, right? It starts going through this way. Then what it's going to do is... Just place a couple so that... Like, I'm trying to have this hit it at a very sharp angle, but not too sharp, so it just kind of comes out and hits this here. But I don't know if that corner is going to get in the way. No, it is reachable. Yeah, just like that. And we've only used three mirrors. We'll move back down here and just do it for the gold one now. Oh, there are barely no collisions. Emphasis on barely. Look at that. Jeez. far over as it goes and then barely go around that corner just barely and then bring this up and just find the right angle here oh it does work no we, we hit red we hit gold beautiful all right level complete 15 down 16 up next we have four five of these two-way things a couple walls no placements so now this is just proving our mastery of whatever these are. We could we could realistically start like this. That's not too bad. Because that's not a bad setup at all. We only use two of these? These have the same angles, right? So we need to hit... Oh, but this messes with it. The second I bring this in, it messes with it. So it's like I need to maybe bounce this up instead. Just Yeah, have it go the opposite direction. Um... That doesn't quite work as well, but it could maybe still work. The little bit of fine tuning. No, okay, we need to use our brains a little bit more here. Yeah, that's the farthest down it's gonna go using just these three. So that's a no go. I might have to reuse one. Wait, wait a second, hold on. 
because this is a little bit shallower, I can raise this up further, have this go here, and then have this bounce down like that. Beautiful. There was no reusing needed. Very careful threading. Oh my god. Actually, speaking of threading the needle, jeez. So there's definitely going to be some reusing. Probably it's going to be this one being reused. Let's just focus on getting one through at a time. Alright, that's through. Now, here's the thing. I almost... Oh, I combined the lights. They become the same color. This forces you... Oh, this is an introduction level, isn't it? So it's almost like I want to use multiple mirrors here. If, if I want the blue laser to take the same path as the red one, then the setup has to be the same too. So the blue laser would have to come from the same angle that the red laser is, which as of right now isn't possible to do unless I want to block the red laser. What if I use this area back here a little more? I don't know if this is an angle that can work, but I just want to see how this bounces. It's close, but it's, it's not the same. Because realistically, these blue and red lasers are going to be going in on different angles. Slightly different angles, but it is possible to send them both through. It is. I saw it with my own eyes. So now, I'm hoping that as if even if they don't intersect, maybe it can still work. The only thing is it's not going to bounce them both. I mean, there's no way, right? Yeah, they got to be on top of each other in order to bounce. Um, you know what? New idea. Like, I wonder if both of these could have a reflection leading to one of these. Probably not, but what if this does work? Mm, you know what? No, actually it won't. Because this can only go over so far. There's only one other idea I have, and that's instead of like trying to, before sending through this gap, bouncing them off the same side, it's more like setting up something back here. Let me just get this out of the way. So it kind of looks like they're overlapping. Because what I want to do is... <laughs> this looks really cool, by the way. I love how it looks. Is just kind of get this in the middle here. And then use two different angles. Barely on the corner to send it through like that. It does look very pretty. But yeah, that uh, that took freaking forever. <laughs> so it's hard to even be like amazed by that. It's just, holy crap, it's finally done sort of deal. This looks sick. We combined the colors, so as long as they're parallel from different directions, if, if it hits uh, different edges of the mirror, it'll still go in the same direction. I'll have, to, I'll have to remember that. I'll have to remember that. It's cool. All right, level 18. We now have triangular mirrors. Prisms? I don't know. Yep, I was going to ask how differently do they behave, and the answer is very. I guess it'll run parallel to the bottom side no it doesn't always run parallel to it oh it can also internally reflect that's good to know oh boy it's like i could i could gain an idea from this but i, I can't really say for sure if it's truly the case maybe i'll just try experimenting with it and <laughs> um use this to see what happens that's something I don't know. I, I, before I go ahead with this, I think I actually want to change up the first one. Why? I mean, I just feel like I need more space in here for the next one. Like, give that as much space as possible, and then we can go ahead with this. Let me just put this more over here. Or maybe, maybe like here. And then send this through the mirror maze. Okay, I don't, I don't exactly like that. I might like this a little bit more. <laughs> What is going on? It loves reflecting back into itself. It, it loves it. It's set up perfectly to do that, it seems. Oh, never mind. There we go. We finally have a potential chance. We just gotta hope that we can dodge. Nope. Okay, instead of going this direction, let me just reset. What if we, what if we go around th uh, clockwise instead of counterclockwise? Maybe that at least give me more room to do things? Because honestly, this is a pretty clean setup here. And then we could just take a uh, one of these. And I'm just kind of using them pretty normally now. To go like about here. And then we'll kind of redirect it. Ah, to, 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 it's going to be close. Nope. That's, that gets a nope. Let me move it a bit more this way to allow for even more space, then bring this down here, then bring this up. 
Gotta hit on that side, there we go. Starting to get the hang of it a, a little. Yeah. All right, getting a hang of it a, a little bit. I, I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't quite have like a defined rule set that I can say out loud, but I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of an internal idea of how it works. But I have a feeling it's going to massively change the second we have, hold on, under my face cam. God, there's nowhere. Let me just temporarily be here. There's two squares and one triangle. Remember that now. I feel like it's going to be different once there's a beam with two colors inside of it. I swear if it splits the colors, it does split the colors. Oh, but it doesn't always split the colors, but sometimes it really does. And that's what we have to use. We have to split the colors to actually solve this puzzle. So I got to send the red through there and the blue through elsewhere. Um, let me, let me try it like this, actually. Let's send the whole beam through here. And then have it... Yeah, then have it split off here. Just trying to see if I can have them go in wildly different directions. Where, like, the red goes down and the blue goes up. Is that is that feasible? It might not be feasible. Unless... Unless I bring this up a bit more. Yeah, just separate the colors and then try to have red go down. So this has to be a steeper angle. Maybe if I move it a bit more this way and then rotate it a bit <gasps> oh that does hit okay we're chilling but now blue has to go up somehow but that's surely not gonna make it you know it does get pretty close though i can't deny that's insanely close i mean it's just not possible the angle isn't there that's so funny that this almost works this isn't even close like how it's intended what is causing them to set? Oh, it's because it's along this line. Move back here. And then move more like that. We got this again, but again, the blue... It's not going to work with this here. <gasps> there we go. That's definitely it. Yep. Well, that, that certainly works. I hope I can learn from this, or otherwise... Let's see. <laughs> what do we know about uh, how this splits? Well, let's hope with a couple more levels we can maybe conquer the idea of this. If not, well, okay, this level doesn't have a problem. There is no triangles. There are no triangles. Just a lot of sliders. This uh, certainly does look challenging. I'll say that much. We can rotate this a ton. Like we could send it down here, which may not be too bad. Because then what we end up doing is just bouncing it through the other three. No, that's not it. Here, let me try to keep it a bit more horizontal. Oh, there we go. We're getting somewhere, at least. Actually, here's what I'm wondering. I could probably use two squares here. I don't need to use one. I could... Or I, I'm not forced to use one. I probably could use two and get away with it. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of bounce in a grid-like way to make it through to here. Because I'm pretty sure we only need two. Oh, God. It is bright now. Mm, it's going to be close. Maybe unless if I just hug the right corners. Nah, we're not even close. So how do I do this area with only one square? I mean, ideally, what I want is to have the laser almost bounce into here. And then just a very horizontal piece so it bounces back in a grid fashion. But how would I get it to bounce in here? I mean, that I can't answer. I have no idea. This is certainly interesting, though. Can I get this to go past just barely? I can. I can. Wait, maybe I can do this with the zero. Dude, I can do this with area with zero cubes. Let's go. Let's, let's freaking go. That's probably all I need. Hell yeah. <laughs> Both sides of this. One cube shortage. I wonder if you could shave a cube off here too and I wasn't observant enough. Sweet. We'll do this one. All right, another one with triangles. 